the Bible to the cross from the cross. Every Bible story has three components. First, God's law. Second, God's compassion. Third, God's miracle. Opening your Bible opens miracles. The Bible as one story is holy enough in our lives. Day 246, at Kiel 12 to 40. All visions are gone. The false prophets preached the false peace, disregarding the 70 years God had foretold them and merely shouted empty consolation. First point, God said that Ezekiel's performance represented South Judah's confirmed punishment. In order to show that God's judgment on South Judah had been confirmed, God commanded Ezekiel to perform symbolic acts, and the first was to symbolize the exiles. The people of South Judah, who were already in Babylon, were not interested in listening to anything or anyone. Thus, God told Ezekiel to go forth and perform an act for them to see and be persuaded. Therefore, per God's command, Ezekiel packed his belongings for exile, and in the daytime set out and walked around as the people watched. And then in the evening, he went out like an exile, while the people were watching. This was a warning that South Judah would fall, and that the remaining people would be taken as captive to Babylon. Not long afterwards, God's words were fulfilled. Jerusalem was attacked during the night by the Babylonian soldiers, and the soldiers seized Zedekiah as well as the people. Zedekiah was brought to Babylon, where he spent the rest of his life. In the middle of this, God still planned salvation for the remaining people in Jerusalem. Now God commanded Ezekiel to carry out the second act. This time he was to tremble as he ate his food and shudder in fear as he drank water. This was to show how the people will eat their food in anxiety and drink water in despair as their land are stripped of everything. It was here that Jeremiah cried out to God. It was almost the time for South Judah to fall and for the remaining people to be taken as captives and for the land of Jerusalem to have its 70 years of Sabbath. Second point, the saying, the days go by and every vision comes to nothing, was spreading in South Judah during those times. It was most unfortunate that despite the fall of South Judah approaching quickly, the saying, the days go by and every vision comes to nothing, was spreading. God therefore told Ezekiel to set their thinking straight. This line of thought came from what Jeremiah had proclaimed a while ago. The South Judah would fall as time progressed. The people thought that this prophecy was a lie and that the visions came to nothing. What they did not consider was that the end of South Judah was just around the corner. The people said that Ezekiel's vision was for many years from now and that he prophesied about the distant future. God replied that the delay would be no longer. Third point, the reason the false prophets during those days lied was because they wanted to receive a handful of grain. God warned Ezekiel of what was to happen to the false prophets. God referred to those who acted according to their own will and the foolish who followed their own spirits. God referred to these people as jackals. God referred to various people as jackals and whitewashed tombs in the Bible, and these were usually those who interfered with God's work. God declared judgment on the false prophet. The first was that they would not be able to enter the Jerusalem assembly. The second 
was that they would not be recorded in the name of the Israelites. The third was that they would not be able to come into the land of the Israelites. God pointed out that these false prophets told lies for money. God proclaimed that they would be removed from the Israelites. Fourth point, the elders who served both the idols and gods came to Ezekiel. God declared the punishment upon the idol worshippers through Ezekiel. Around this point, the elders of Israel who worshipped idols came to Ezekiel. They were the ones who worshipped idols and also God. But to God, these people only worshipped the idols and pretended to worship God on the surface. Therefore, when the elders came to ask for something to Ezekiel, they were turned down. This was because no one could appear to God before repenting their sins. Fifth point, God declared that even if Noah, Daniel, or Job were among the people of South Judah that would not change God's decision to punish them. God explained in detail to Ezekiel of his judgment against South Judah. The first was that there would be famine upon South Judah. The second was that there would be judgment on the wild beasts. Third was the judgment of the swords. Fourth was plague judgment. Thus, as the judgment had been decided, God told Ezekiel that there was no point in praying for the people. God added that even if Noah, Daniel, and Job, who were considered the most righteous during their time, prayed for these people, the result could not be changed. God explained that anyone who repented would become God's remnant. Through Ezekiel, God declared that these remnants would be able to return as a holy citizens in a kingdom of priests after 70 years in Babylon. I am so excited that you have in your hands now and on your phones the Tongdok Bible app. And let me tell you why. Very few people, just a handful of people in the world understand the way Dr. Zhou does. The way that this is one story from Genesis to Revelation, one story. And what does it mean for us to daily live that story as our life story? And he has found a way to do this. We need daily marinating of our mind and the soaking of our spirit in, in the Word of God. And that's why a, a, a Tom Doc Bible is so important. The scriptures, the story, Genesis to Revelation, is the daily mouth-to-mouth -mouth breathings of the Spirit of God into humans to make us truly who God made us to be. And that's why this app is so important. This app shows you how to do mouth, that God, enables God to do mouth to mouth resuscitation on you every day of your life, 365 days a year. I'm so glad you have it. You will feel that healing that comes from mouth to mouth breathings of the Spirit on you as you use this app.